oh, 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 oh. I was not expecting this at all, to be honest. Damn, so if you're all aware, the 16th video stuff for Dragon Ball Legends has ended. And boy, do we have a lot to cover. cover. Anyways, I will now be doing do my intro. Yo, what's good, guys? It's I, Professor Legends, back here with another Dragon Ball Legends video for all of you. And today, we've got quite a lot of cover for the, for the 16th video and stuff, which has ended a few hours ago. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Starting with the actual video and stuff itself. And the update. So first on the list is the Z Power stuff. So now you'll be able to use Monster Z Power directly from your gift box, which is always a nice thing to do. Because normally, so say for example you've done the Sparkling Break banner, you get all the Z Power that gets moved into your gift box. Now you can. Now you are able to do. You're now able to use Monster Z Power that that is in your gift box. Which is always nice and much less of a hassle. So now you can choose which characters to use them on, on from your gift from the gift box, which is always a nice thing. So yeah, um, which is always nice because normally you would have to go back to your gift box, claim the Z power from the gift box, use the Z power, go back to your gift box, use another Z power, and so forth. So now that they're implementing this, it's always a nice thing to see. Now, missions. You can now be able to accept multiple missions that are related to one another. But normally when you clear missions that are related to one another, you have to accept them one by one. <laughs> so now... So now you'll be able to accept them all at once, which is always a good thing, because when you have to accept them one by one, it was always a major pain in the butt. Now you can, you can accept them all at once, which is always a nice thing to see. So, next on the list is the tournament point display. So, this has been implemented in the future update. Now, so, when you normally do the tournament power, in order to see how many tournament points you have, you have to go into the mode itself to see how many tournament points you have. Now, now, now with the update they're implementing, every time when you log into Legends, open up Legends, you'll be able to see how many tournament points you have, which is always a nice thing to see. So now you'll be able to see how many tournament points you have and see how you want to spend them. Next on the list, so yeah, that's tournament points covered. Next on the list is the auto adventure, th auto adventure mechanic. So it allows you to use the following job requests that mean prioritize events. So obviously you can select the. I assume they, they'll allow you to select the jobs that you want to use. Then they'll allow you to use the actual. Then it will give you the option to use them. Then, as always, it will automatically select the best characters that are best for. That will help you complete the event, complete the missions in no, in no time flat. All they will they will heap you the most rewards if you complete those complete those event missions in no time flat. So yeah, that's the auto adventures adventures covered. Next on this is the. The consecutive re-roll, re-roll for the equips, con equipment con consecutive re-roll. So now you'll be able to re-roll up to 10 slot, 10 times at once, and they will give you like amount, a certain amount of um, ability things. You know, give it a percentage. So obviously, this is how it, this is how it will look like. So obviously, you'll look like. You need the more. I don't know how to pronounce it. So the more slowing moves you have, the more obviously you re-roll, re-roll, and it, and it also gives you an option to stop. So that is always a nice thing to see. So yeah, it will give you an, an option to stop, and obviously you want so it will give you an option to stop once you once you hit like a gold slot or maybe like S or Z rank. 
you can press stop, stop upgrading, and I assume it'll refund all the refund all the slot removers you have put in. So yeah. That is the equipment reroll. It's an executive equipment reroll. Next is the Z ability filter. So now you'll be able to select which you'll ne you'll now be able to filter characters via Z ability. So obviously, if you want to build a say a team around a certain tag, you'll need to use units that support that tag. Now they're doing this with like Z ability. If you use like a Saiyan, so for example, if you want to use the same team, you have to you have to use units that revolve around that tag. So yeah, um, there we go. So now you can use abilities that revolve around that tag. So yeah, Z ability. So that's the Z ability filter. Next is the battle system overhaul, which allows you to see if you've done a normal vanish or a perfect vanish. Here's how it is. With the vanish, the enemy will... It will just be like your normal vanish. But they've now given a sign where you are able to note it, where you'll be able to see if you've done a perfect vanish. So, so if you've done a perfect vanish, So yeah, this is the effect once you manage to perform a perfect vanish. So you see this immediate perfect vanish and you can just combo right away. Combo right away. So now you can see if you perfect if you PV'd or not. And you'll be able to go from there and seize your chance. So so if you manage to perform a perfect vanish and you see this, seize your chance to to combo immediately. Because the enemy can't do anything from there. But you'll also be able to notify if you're able to counter enemy's attacks or if you are completely screwed if the enemy is evading your attack. So if the enemy is evading your attack, you'll be able to see if you're able to counter it or if you're completely screwed. So that's the perfect vanish. Spanish thing covered. Let's see. Anything else? So yeah. Now the Legends news thing with Rio, the new, one of the new producers for Legends. It seems that Kaba revealed in the V-Jump was Super Saiyan Kaba. Not that it was Super Saiyan Kaba. That was in the... That was in the V-Jump, so it was Super Saiyan Kaba. So I was correct, it was Super Saiyan Kaba. And by the looks of it, nothing much really. He's just gonna be more like a Vegeta supporter. Probably gonna be buffing Green Marvel Universe, or maybe Green Saiyan. Not sure. But Zero PC buffs buffs Green and Universe Six health. It's health. So yeah, that's Captain Kai Wiggin. Not much info to be there. But it's obviously, obviously he's just going to be a Vegeta buffer by the looks of it. But we'll see the full info once it's posted on the official Twitter account. Hoi Poi, Avo Hoi Poi event is returning to the game. And obviously the rewards are Chrono Crystals, Rare Medals and Legend of Nymphs Mod Z Power. Hoi Poi event is coming and you'll be able to get Mod Z Power, Legend of Nymphs Mod Z Power, Chrono Crystals, and rare medals from the missions, I assume. Seems so, yeah. So, yeah, those are. So, Hoi Poi is returning. Super Saiyan Kappa Zen Kai Waking is coming from the news. Now, for the main course itself, we have gameplay on the official Twitter account of Legends Limited. Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. Blue Evolution Vegeta is this month's LF. Without further ado, 
Let us roll the clip. Let us roll the clip. That's a strike animation. Okay, I assume that's an AoE green card. That's his ultimate, and he has Blast Arm. Alright, so that was Blue Evolution Vegeta. Let's take a look at the clip and see what his moves are. So obviously, it starts off with the. So, obviously, it starts off with a cover change against Blast Arts, I assume. Followed. Okay, so normally with. So, obviously, with cover changes, you can follow up with a special move. Which is seen in the footage, so you can follow up with a special move. So obviously, the special move is Final Flash. Okay, so he doesn't have Blast Armor on his strike. Okay, so green card appears to be AoE by the looks of it. This is the ult. Okay, so the ult has Blast Armor. Okay, that's good to know. So there's his ult. And his legendary finish is the final explosion. It's the final explosion. Legendary finish, and of course, with him holding his left arm. So yeah, <laughs> and the mission is actually kind of clean. <laughs> so yeah, yes, so yeah, um, and obviously, more info is on their official Instagram. So it says, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Evolved Vegeta is coming. He is a range type character. Character with tagged episode survival saga, tagged episode survival saga, tagged dot key, tagged Vegeta family. So I assume that's his Z ability. That's his Z ability. So level one is gonna be universe survival saga. Level two is gonna be dot key. Level two is gonna be Vegeta family. So it says after using arts, if his key is below a certain amount, he restores key and gains some buffs. So if you string to get ten of his arts skillfully, you can get a lot of value out of his ability. Thanks to things like his special cover change against Blast Arts, his defense is near flawless. Combine that with his long lasting special arts effects. And like many other legendary characters for him, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta is a simple to use powerhouse. So, yeah, um. So, his ability is going to boost Episode Universe Survival Saga, tag the Dog Key tag, and the Vegeta Family tag. So, yeah, let's take a look at. Let's start off with Universe Survival Saga. So purple is covered by UI Sai Goku. Blue is covered by 18 Basil. Red is covered by Bagamo. Yellow is covered by 17. And the episode does not have a green unit that that has ZBZ that buffs the actual episode itself. So if it was green, then obviously the Universe Survival Saga would have a complete color wheel. But there are multiple greens that can fill on there, such as the Pride Troopers. Fire Troopers, but you probably fits with more powerful opponent. So yeah, that is Episode Universe Survival Saga. It needs a green, and if it does have a green, then it will probably have a complete color wheel. Let's take a look at the God Key tag. So God Key. So obviously, red is covered by Elf Pops and Zamasu. Purple is covered by. You are signed Goku, Elef Rose, and Purple Vegeta Blue. 
Yellow and blue are covered by the blue fusions. Are covered by the fusions. Go Geo Blue, Geo Blue, Gita Blue, and obviously the Zenkai Super Saiyan we go to anti Zenkai Super Saiyan Dot Vegeta. So yeah, um, and obviously Vados is green, but she's a bit of a glass cannon. You can also have Zenkai Bears as well. But Doki is pr pretty much in need of a green, a viable green that can probably, you know, hold their own. Because Vado seems to be more of a support type, because she doesn't really deal that much damage and she's only there for support. So yeah, if if Doki gets a green, then that'll be great as well. Another reason why Evergy Vegeta should be green. So yeah, um, that. So now for Vegeta family. So red is covered by Zenkai S4 Vegeta. Yellow is covered by the Angel Vegeta. He's not meant to be running the Saiyans. Blue is covered by Alf Manja Vegeta. He's still solid. Purple is covered by the Purple Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. His death buffs are still amazing, and he still provides amazing support for the team. So yeah. So yeah, um, I could probably say um, the Transforming Trunks is good, but he's more of a hybrid thing. Probably fits more onto hybrids. What do you guys think? So yeah, um, Vegeta... So, LF Blue Evangelion Vegeta has a very, very good chance of being green. And if he's green, then he pretty much satisfies all three roles of the God Key, Universe of Vital Saga, and Tag God Key. If he's green, then that's pretty much all three roles fulfilled. And and if he pretty much main the, any of those three tanks, then Vegeta is a must. The game Vegeta is a must. So yeah, um, that is pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content from my Professor Legends. And that being said, I'll see you all next time. Have a great day. Game on. This is Professor Legends. Over and out.